guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every, every Wednesday. Mm hmm I do. Every Wednesday. <laughs> well, it's Tuesday, so. It's actually Tuesday. So you make the video every Wednesday. We've got a peanut gallery this morning. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. If this is your first time here, please like, please subscribe. I have been traveling full time since 2015 and this Wednesday we're in New Zealand. We are flying home today. I want to go over some of the things that were a little bit strange about New Zealand. And not strange, just unfamiliar to me. I've got 10 things. The first thing, and one of the main reasons why we're here, is that there are no natural predators. You've seen my bear videos, you know that I'm so afraid of bears. I originally thought I was gonna go to Australia for a year, do a work visa. There are a lot of people on work visas. If you are under 30, apply for it. Seth was like, I think it would be cool to go hike in New Zealand. There are no bears, there are no mountain lions, there's nothing that can get you. Anytime I had to walk out of the van or walk around at night, I wasn't afraid of animals or people because the crime right here is so low. Second thing that we notice is that people don't wear shoes in public pu public people don't wear public shoes in public places. Who yeah. wears public shoes? What is a public <laughs> shoe? No but wear get your public shoes on we're going in public. Stop people don't wear shoes <laughs> in public places. <laughs> the grocery store, the gas station, there were, nobody's wearing shoes, which I kind of love. I wish I had taken advantage of it as much as Seth had. <laughs> Seth is like the military guy. Dur, 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 dur. He was walking around with no shoes on. I was like, oh, okay. He was embracing it fully. I wish I had. Third thing which you learned about in the beginning of our trip was that Wi-Fi is not a thing. You don't just go sit in a cafe like you do in the States at Starbucks for 12 hours. They give you a limit usually. So you'd sit down, you'd order your breakfast, your coffee, and you'd log on and be like, you have 30 minutes. And I'm like, I have like 12 hours of work to do. What we found was that libraries were the best place to go for Wi-Fi. If you come here, CamperMate, the app, is your best friend, you must download it. We used it to find gas, campsites, and Wi-Fi. Number four, new phrases that we will be taking home with us. Proper, like, oh, we should have a proper meal tonight, or it's so nice to sleep in a proper bed. The other one is heaps, like, oh, we got heaps of sleep last night, or there's heaps of sand flies here. Sand flies are another number, give me a minute on that. The third word is sweet as. Seth also is trying to take this on. Sweet ass just means like thanks or cool. So we asked a few Kiwis if they could say it for us. Sweet ass bro. Sweet ass bro. I lost my voice. Sweet ass bro. <laughs> Sweet ass bro. 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 Thank you everybody who did that. That was amazing. There will be more at the end. Number five are sand flies. We have sand flies in the States. They definitely have sand flies here. They're not, they're like smaller than mosquitoes, but more vicious. They hurt when they bite and then they itch forever. I asked somebody, how do you how do you not get bit by sand flies? Like what's the secret to not getting bit? And he's like, you're doing it. Cover up, cover up those ankles. And I was literally covered from head to toe because I was just afraid of being bit. When the sun's rising and when the sun's setting, that's when they're the worst, but that is what it is. I was like, oh. The sixth thing is that there is a switch for the outlet. So when you go to plug something in, you have to turn the outlet on. Apparently they have a higher voltage here, so it's more dangerous if you get zapped with it. So it wants to be off if it's not in use. Their outlets have light switch things to turn on the power. This morning, Seth woke up without a phone charge because he didn't do the switch. A couple things that we noticed that were different in the Southern Hemisphere, number seven, we could not see if the water was going a different way because the toilets just flushed down. Like there's no s swirl, it's just down. Further south we went, the colder it got, and this makes sense if you think about it. We are always just used to going north for cold and south for warm. Well, we've passed the equator and now we're on the bottom. So the further south we go, the further we get to Antarctica. We started with a comforter and we were like, we don't need this comforter, we're sweating. And then when we got to the South Island, we had to go buy one because we were freezing at night. <laughs> the other thing that's different here are the stars. There are millions of stars, so many stars. And there's no Big Dipper, there's no Orion's Belt. So that was weird just to have an unfamiliar sky at night. It was kind of cool, but it was different. The eighth thing, 
There are no targets here. Ah, oh, there might be a target. I think I saw a target one time. But there's something called the warehouse. And at first glance, it had like the red colors and the similar-ish enough logo. I was like, yeah, this is probably like Target. Seth does not like the warehouse. Customer service for me, huge thing, because I've worked in customer service my whole life. So Seth is always like, oh, you're such a stickler for customer service. Well, we separate in warehouse. He's trying to buy a Bluetooth speaker. We come back and he's like, we gotta get out of here. And I was like, why? I have asked three people to help me unlock this thing so that I can buy this Bluetooth speaker from their store. And nobody has come by with a key. When I asked the third person and no one came by, I was like, God, I'm over this. And he, from then on, he's like, we're never going to the warehouse. I thought it was great. The deals were awesome. Number nine, driving. Of course you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Should I say Seth was driving on the wrong side of the road? I think I drove two times in two months. Seth said he likes to drive. I just don't believe him. I think he just didn't have any faith in me. So Seth's the driver, I'm the organizer. I, I make sure that things don't fall, that things don't go flying when we move. I also get car sick a lot. So sometimes when I'm on my phone too much or when I'm like digging around trying to organize stuff, I get a little car sick. Never like vomity, but definitely queasy. Peppermint gum is helpful. The 10th thing is paying for things. When we paid with our US credit card, it always required a signature, always. Even the store owners would be like, that's weird, I need your signature. Here, PayWave is like a thing where you just tap your, you tap your card on there and it pays for it. I think we have that in the States, but it's not used as far as I've seen. Here it is the norm. People are like, you don't have PayWave? And you're like, I've got a chip. I feel like that's the new thing, the chip to put in there. And there's no tipping on restaurants, on eyebrow waxing, on haircuts. Did you tip when you got a haircut? She told me not. She told you not to? The last thing that I want to close with is, if you're coming here and you want to rent a van, I'm going to include the guy's email that we rented our van from because he was amazing and he told me I could share it. I would highly recommend him. I'll put it below. Those are my 10 things. Next Wednesday, I will be in California. Seth is flying back to Minnesota to take care of some school stuff and stuff, stuff, just stuff. And then I will be in Colorado at the end of the month at Five Point Film Fest with Gregory Pax. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already. Share with anyone you know that's going to New Zealand. Follow me on Instagram because I do Instagram stories so you can keep up the whole time. And I will see you guys all next week. Mwah! Bye! Hey, hey Sailor and Sam. Hope you enjoyed your time in New Zealand. Got some sausies. If you want to come out for a barbie. Yeah, nah, that'd be great. Sweet as bro. <laughs> Sweet as bro. 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 Sweet as bro.